I'm just ashamed after that high energy caller. Hello, caller, you're now live. Oh, uh, yeah, man. How you doing, bro? What's going on, man? Uh, listen, man, I got a little problem with my girl, you know what I'm saying? I need to ask you some questions, see what, you, what your advice is. Okay, and where are you from? Uh, I'm calling from Salem. Salem, Salem, okay. Cool. Yeah. So what's up? Yeah, man, so, so basically what happened, I've been seeing this girl for about like six months or something. And within the last month, we moved in together. Everything was going good, you know. And then I started wondering for a little while if something was up. Because, like, I came home a couple times, and mm-hmm. then I noticed that she had, like, been looking at some weird Internet sites, like, it's witchcraft and stuff. And then I found some, like, uh, you know, weird articles and witchcraft. devices and shit like that that I didn't expect, you know what I'm saying? So I just wonder, like, you know, maybe it's where I met this girl or something like that. But like, you know, what should I do if my girlfriend is a witch? Because <laughs> oh shit, a witch? Like, okay, has she talked to you about this? But see, I, be, I was a little nervous to bring it up because if I if I misinterpreted these events, then you know what I'm saying that witch could get. But get, wait, get, doesn't get, a witch? Get, right. I'm pretty sure a witch has to have like all the all the props, like all the tarot cards and the cloth and the and the and the I don't know incense stuff. I'm pretty sure there's like a physical thing she she has to do. I don't think she can hide that. So do, so where is all of her witch gear? I'm sure there's like a box, no? Well, I mean, like, all right, so, so I did, one day when she was out, she had to go do some things in town, so I did look around a little bit, you know what I'm saying, I'm nervous, it's my apartment, you know what I'm saying? Right. I did find a, I did find a box with like, you know, some, some little uh, articles, like uh, spells and, uh, you know, like little, uh, little, little, like a, like a arm of a toad or something. Have you, uh, arm of a toad, was it dead? Oh, I guess so. Now, are you? Well, no, nah, are man. you? I mean, are it, you trolling it, it me? It was like it had dried. Up. It had dried up. Arm so of a toad. toad. Come on now. Like it, it was, but I don't know if that had just crawled up in there, or if that was like part of her rituals or what. But now I tell you what. I, I mean, I was watching, you know, like Chris Angel and David Blaine, and they was doing all this crazy <laughs> shit, and I was, I don't know, man. All right. Well, have you talked to her about it? Maybe that could be the next next step. Say, hey, baby, I think you're a witch. Am I right? Okay. Well, see, have, have, what what yeah. do I do? Mm-hmm. Well, what you say you don't believe in that magic and stuff, but what do I do if she if she, if she if... Are you laughing? <laughs> I mean, I know it's funny, man. I Why are you laughing, man? I mean, this sounds, you started off as a serious person. You were serious. You were nervous and scared. And now you're just laughing? Are you trolling? It just sounds funny, man. I know it uh-huh. sounds funny, but, like, I'm trying to get some serious advice. Well, listen, and like, as long as she's it? not banging another dude, I think that isn't bad. But if she's a witch, maybe she's doing a spell to, uh, I don't know, Increase your sex potency. Maybe she's not happy well, with how you are in, in in bed, and she's right. doing a sped right, right. a spell on on you. You have to satisfy her. True, so, but what if what I'm saying is, what if I bring it up and she would then be like turn on me because you know she might have a little doll of me or something. You know what I'm saying? Like poking it with the dude. A that's very phone. easy. Just put silver in your in your pocket and rub a little bit of garlic on it. You are immune to all spells if you do that. So get a piece of silver, maybe a quarter is fine. Get a little bit of garlic, sprinkle it okay. on, and then go up to okay, her and I'm say, right "Yeah, good." And then say, "Hey, I think I found some things. Are you a witch?" And if she says yes and does some hocus pocus on you, then you're like, "Look, bitch, I got that garlic," and then everything's fine. I I spoke garlic. <laughs> garlic is uh, G A R L I C. Thank you, caller, and goodbye. <laughs> that guy was funny, huh? And that was actually good. Now that that one had me going for a little while. Okay, we had a. Uh, we had it's his own pee. So what? It's it's healthy. 
Okay, let's get some more calls. How long have we been doing this? Two hours, huh? Now, last week I went five hours. I don't know what kind of energy I was on. I don't think I'm going five hours today, but uh, we can take some more calls. Let's go to the next caller. Happy New Year, caller. Where are you from? I'm here. I'm calling from um, Lower Manhattan. Lower Manhattan. Okay. How are you? Yes. So I'm doing very well. Um, early, earlier, you were talking about um, a couple of things I wanted to comment and get your uh, your opinion on. Now, first of all, you talked about to a certain caller about uh, a person in Sweden having a black dog. And you said a, a, a Swedish girl would never do anything unless you had a black dog because they had never seen such a thing. The question I have for you is, not being sweet, uh, Swedish or black myself, uh, would, it, would it work to actually just have an extra dog? Or did you mean that it actually had to be part of, uh, part of the person's body? Now, before I do answer that, I must say your accent, I cannot put your accent anywhere. You know, I, I feel like I should know it. And so can you share with us what your race or your background is? I would be glad to. Now, um, I'm, as I said, I'm coming from lower Manhattan. Um, I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put it this way. Earlier you were talking about yoga pants. And the thing about yoga pants is that, yes, it is uh, a, a so-called Jewish Before conspiracy. you take that side, that side piece into yoga pants, I, just, I was just naturally curious what, what your background is. You know, I mean, because your accent, I can't put it anywhere. I've never heard this kind of speech before. So can you enlighten me? Have you ever seen the Woody Allen film? I have, yes. Yes. So then if you had actually seen one, you would know that uh, I'm Jewish. Oh, Jewish. Okay, Jewish, yeah. How do you feel now, about, the thing uh, you, you know, we actually had a caller earlier that hates the Jews. He tried to complain that's about why it. Calling, How do you feel about that? That's why, I'm calling, that's why I'm calling in, because the thing with the yoga pants is that uh, the yoga pants are not, Did you, not what you think. The, did you invent the yoga pants trend in order to hypersexualize all women in the United States? In in Yiddish, we call them yoga yoga pants. Now, I honestly think that your accent is the real deal. I don't think this is a fake accent. Well, I appreciate that, but look, the thing is that the yoga pants are actually made from the skin of the Goryum, and we stretch this out, and it's a very, very long process. I won't bore you with it, but look, Roche, I have an idea for you. This is uh, me and a friend, uh, Bertie Madoff, we've come up with an idea for a Roche coin. This is a cryptocurrency. It's big by the number of bangs that you get. Uh. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I thought Jews were very financially smart. That sounds like the worst business idea I have ever heard. Bernie Madoff has done very well. He's, done, he's, a, he's a great man. All right, sir. Well, I hope you have a good day. Roosh, my girlfriend is a witch help. Was my black voice better than this guy? I cracked. That was a good black voice, though. That was actually pretty good. This guy can do a Jewish voice, black voice. God, that guy's trolling me bad, huh? That was pretty good. I was 100% certain that was like a black guy. I mean, damn you, Jay.